Okay, we're going to find the Laplace transform the function t minus 1 squared times u of t minus 1. And this is the unit step function. And notice that the inputs right here, they match, right? That's a good thing. And this is a zero statement that we're going to use. Let me write it down right here for you guys. So whenever we are doing the Laplace transform of a function, and we call it to be f, of some input, and then we multiply by u, which is a unit step function of something right here as well. If the inputs match, and we write it as t minus a, and this right here will also be t minus a. If this is the case, this is what we'll do. We will first end up with e to the negative a s, right? And then we multiply by the Laplace transform of the original f of t only, like this, right? So if we look back, as you can see, the a value, it will be the one right here, isn't it? So let me indicate that right here for you guys. This will be the 1. Likewise, this will be the 1. So this is going to be, first of all, let's always write down the e to the negative as. In this case, it will be 1. And as usual, let me put on the s in red, right? Negative 1s, and then we will multiply this by the Laplace transform of this function by the input right now. It's no longer t minus 1. It will be just t for the input, and then we have to square that. All right? So this is the translation in t theorem. And you just have to make sure whenever you have the unit step function, most likely you end up with e to the something. All right, now we will finish this up, right? As we know, this is the same as e to the negative s. And then the Laplace transform of t to the second power, it will first be 2 factorial, which is the same as 2, right? Over s to the 2 plus 1, which is the third power, like that. And that's pretty much it. At the end, of course, we can write it down together, such as 2e to the negative s over s to the third power. And that's it.